Hey everyone, in this video you will follow our journey to the German Black Forest. One particular thing is that for this journey we will be with my parents and their friends. And the main surprise is that we got special cars. So, in end of July we decided to organize a weekend getaway with my parents. As it is the high season, we opted for a destination that wasn't too far. And that's how the Black Forest came up. Our destination will be Schlussee, in the southern part of the Black Forest. And to get there, we won't be taking our cars, but we will have a Porsche 993. Let's dive into this adventure. And so, after my parents picked us up from Strasbourg, we start driving toward the Black Forest, quickly passing the German border. In order to avoid taking the main road, we opted for a small detour that will take us through smaller and nicer roads. To do so, we follow the direction of Triberg, which will make our journey two and a half hours until Schlusssee. But after a while, we made a lunch break, as we were all getting hungry. On the side of the road, we found a restaurant called Alexandros im Rossel. It was a Greek restaurant, which was perfect for us. There, we sat on the terrace and ordered a refreshing drink and to go along some vegetarian Greek dishes that were served with a salad. The food was great and the service super friendly. And at the end of the meal, we received a traditional liqueur. As Tina was pregnant, I got the chance to have two of them. However, as we were hitting the road again, I didn't drink it. Once lunch finished, we headed back to the cars. As mentioned earlier, we are driving a Porsche 993. As all Porsche, the key switch is located on the left side, and on this model, to start the engine, you need to press a button located on the remote control. We were now on the smaller roads through the Black Forest, and it was really enjoyable to be driving around, even if the weather wasn't always with us and showers were happening. Along our road trip, we passed a few tunnels and some small, really cute German town. Alright, so let's get on with some information about the car. On this road trip, we are on a Porsche 911, type 993. Model Carrera 2, built in 1995 in Stuttgart. Its exterior is midnight blue, with a pearl effect, and the car has two doors. Its interior is blue as well. Most of it is actually blue leather. You can sit up to four people, even adults, but it isn't the most comfortable place in the rear seat. Its engine is a flat 6, located in the rear of the car, classic to Porsche with 272 horsepower. An interesting fact is that this model was the last generation of Porsche with an air-cooled engine. The 993 was the first generation of Porsche to have a 6-gear transmission and our model had a manual gearbox. And during this trip, we gave it the nickname of Porsche and Old Blue. Finally, after two and a half hours and a lunch break, we arrived in Schlussee. It was easy to notice at the end of this first day as Schlussee is actually a huge lake. In German, sea means lake, so it's easy to know when there is a lake. We passed the town and headed straight to our hotel, which was called Park Hotel Flora, a beautiful family-run hotel in an idyllic setting in the Black Forest, and a four-star superior rating. After checking, we went a bit around the hotel, starting with the bar and lounge area, as well as some part of the restaurant. Hey 
As we booked last minute, we took what was left in the hotel. That's how my parents got a flora suit, which was massive and actually way too big, but super spacious. The bathroom had a shower and a bathtub. There was a separated double room and a huge living room with quite a view. On our side, we were a few rooms away and we got the comfort double room, which was perfect and also super comfortable. We had a separate bathroom with a shower and a toilet. At night, there was a red light so that if you need to go, you don't have to turn on the main line. That's so great. We also had a double bed, a small desk and a sitting area. It was really nice and we loved the view from our little balcony. The hotel also had a small library with a self-service bar where if you are taking something, you are not in so that they can charge you later. Another cool thing the hotel had was that until 4.30 pm or so, they were offering a free afternoon snack. There were fruits, pastries and various cakes to choose from, as well as coffee and tea. So we all met there and got ourselves something to drink and eat. Even though the weather wasn't too great, we opted to sit outside and enjoy our surrounding. After tea, I went a bit around in the garden to check the outside swimming pool and fly the drone. There is also an inside swimming pool and spa, so if the weather isn't too great in the coming weekend, we could still enjoy some spa time. Once everyone finished with their afternoon snack, we opted to go for a walk. So we left on foot the hotel toward the lake. On our way, we stopped in town. There was a supermarket. So you may already know that we like to check them out, which we did. The center was small, but really cute with a little church, a main square and a few shops. And on the way to the lake, we passed some really nice floral creation and a train station. We didn't know, but you can actually get a free transportation card in this region of Germany. Once at the lake, we walked a bit around, through the drone and enjoyed the view, until unfortunately rain started, at which time we decided to walk back to the hotel. Pour la caméra. Oui, donc euh, je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous la, la bienvenue dans ce merveilleux endroit du lac de Constance. Euh... <rire> That's only in Germany that you can buy sausages in the vending machine, no? Oh, it was raining outside, and so we decided to get in and go for a run. Well, which is actually the first time we are running together since Tina is pregnant, and it's actually the first time we are running in a gym. And it's a perfect for Bobby. Let's see if he's gonna like it. Eh? He's gonna be tired tonight and sleepy already. And to finish the day, we went for dinner. However, we started with a drink at the bar and then slowly headed to the restaurant. Just looking at the number of cutlery was scary, but sign of a multi-course menu. There were actually a few options for the food that we chose when we arrived. As we had the last table in the restaurant, we had a stunning view around us. It was then time for a multi-course menu that was just super duper delicious. After that, we just headed back to our room and it was now time to rest. 
and as usual, before sleeping, we played a little song to Poppy, our soon to be born boy. Thanks for watching. Support us by subscribing to our channel, leaving a comment, or liking the video.